That's me swabbing the DNA of a stingray so I could clone it in my DNA laboratory. Long story short, I was super bored in my cloning lab and thought, let me go to the zoo so I can find an animal and use its DNA to clone it. So I'm walking around the zoo and seeing a stingray. The thing looked absolutely amazing. It looked even super friendly like it wanted to be cloned. So I take my cloning kit out my pocket and I'm ready to swab its DNA and it comes right up to the top to give me the perfect swab so I can get its DNA right on that Q-tip. And I swabbed it right off the top of its head, which is the best place to clone a stingray, and put it in my chemical grade DNA case. And went straight back to my laboratory in Los Angeles, California. I first put the DNA swab onto an agar plate and put sterilized 437 chrome solution on top. What that does is completely sterilize the DNA so you can clone each individual cell perfectly. I then put it under a microscope to make sure the DNA was alive, and yes, it was moving perfectly to be cloned. I put my microscope on 100x and did a time lapse for you guys so you you can see the DNA actually moving underneath that microscope, which is super interesting. There's so many different components you can see. I then put blue phosphate nucleotides on top to separate the DNA from the Q-tip to make sure every single piece of DNA is ready to be cloned. I then placed it in a ribose cylinder and heated it up to 150 degrees. I then placed the DNA in a saltwater incubator. The blue is the DNA of the stingray that's gonna actually turn into an actual stingray after a couple of months. Around it is water that's salt water so it can breathe and the breathing component is on the top. This is the stingray at only three weeks old. In a few months down the line, I will have a full stingray exactly like the one that you are looking at in this video.